Hello everyone, Mariko Berg, Realtor with Bridgewell Real Estate Group here in Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada. It is the weekend, I finished a bunch of open houses today. It's been a very, very busy weekend, but I did want to fit in a vlog because um, the market, I mean, it's definitely adjusting and we are seeing more inventory and less sales. And so we've actually been dealing with a lot of expired listings. So we've had home sellers that have been on the market for a while, have either terminated with their realtor or have um, expired naturally. And they're looking for a second opinion on their property. And really they're asking us why we think that they didn't receive any offers on their home. And so I did wanna go through this in a vlog format and go through the main things that we really see as reasons why a home might not be selling. Um, and so first and foremost restricting showings if you are um, trying to sell a house but it's really difficult to show the home whether it's tenanted property and the tenant is being difficult or whether you know it, it can be difficult for you to show your home and get out of your home um, while people are wanting to come and take a look at it restricting showings is a huge one statistically the National Association of Realtors has said that um, for every showing that is restricted or asked to be rescheduled, 50% of those potential buyers will not reschedule. So, uh, you know, being as flexible as you can with regards to showings is definitely uh, going to help your property and whether or not it sells because you're basically exposing it to as many potential buyers as possible. Having an open house, standard open house times on Saturday and Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. is great. But at the end of the day, not everyone is going to be able to make it to that open house and it might not be realistic or um, beneficial for you to have an open house every single weekend, week after week. And uh, showings are going to be a better way of doing that. And typically we do see that showings, um, people that are booking showings are typically coming with a realtor. They're more qualified. They're they're ready to go buyers, whereas a lot of open houses, sometimes you get lucky lose or no, nosy neighbors. And so... Um, Definitely try and make it so that you are being as open as you possibly can with regards to showings and that is definitely going to help. And next thing, you know, once you actually approve those showings, you want to make sure that your house shows really well. So another issue that we see is that the house just doesn't show well. It's, you know, messy. Maybe it's not very well maintained. Um, you want to make sure that your house is, is looking like somewhere that a buyer wants to be, uh, somewhere that a buyer wants to live. The more you clean up, the more people will perceive your home as being well taken care of. And so having a home that shows well where people actually want to stay there instead of being rushed to, to leave um, or feeling like intruders or, or not feeling welcome or, um, you know, maybe they just don't like the smell. <laughs> Who knows? Um, is definitely not ideal. So try and make sure that your home shows as well as you possibly can. Make the beds in the morning. Make sure it's always clean. Try to keep um, cooking and strong smells to a minimum. If you can spend time um, and money on takeout while you have your house listed, that's definitely ideal. And then just make sure that it's clean. Every single day when you leave to work, just make sure that it's clean because showings can happen at any time. Um, next, uh, we are seeing a lot more inventory in this market right now. It's February of 2019. And with more inventory, it means more competition. So what we are seeing is really the rise of the renovated home. If your home is not renovated and it's a, a lot of work in the buyer's eyes, that's another reason why a property may be having a hard time selling is because people right now we're finding are not as willing to put in the work um, to, to finish a basement or to... Um, completely renovate a kitchen, all of these different things. So the more renovated your home is, um, the easier it's going to be to sell. It's not to say that you um, are going to find the highest return on investment in completely renovating it, but obviously just be aware of where your home is at in terms of renovations and turnkey ready um, move in ability, if that's a word, um, compared to others on the market and obviously price with that in mind. So the next one is um, segueing into that is if you're priced too high. And this is, you know, honestly, 90% of homes that are on the market for more than the average days on market. And people are coming to us asking um, why their home hasn't sold yet or why they haven't received an offer on it yet is because it is priced too high. So it, it might be that your realtor um, has led you 
to believe something different in terms of market value versus what the true market value really is. You want to make sure that you have a realtor that's very experienced when it comes to pricing strategies because that's really what it is. It's a strategy um, and has a, a lot of experience in different markets, you know, hot markets, cooler markets. It, it's important that your realtor knows how to deal with all kinds of markets and price your home accordingly. They want to be well versed in um, uh, being able to um, explain the active properties, the sold properties, the expired properties, the terminated properties, and how your home compares to that. You want to make sure that your realtor has a very, very good understanding of your marketplace, your city, but also your sub area because the um, the differences in values from homes from sub area to sub area can be very, very different. For example, in Coquitlam, North Coquitlam and Millardville are polar opposites. And if your realtor doesn't know um, the differences in the sub area, that can severely impact their ability to um, not only communicate the value of, say, your sub area, but um, also uh, misrepresent the value of your home depending on what sub area you're in if they don't know what sub areas are more valuable compared to others. So pricing too high is definitely one of the things that we see as a, a common issue for when a house isn't selling. But with that being said, get a second opinion on that. If you are wanting a market evaluation, we offer free market evaluations, feel free to call me anytime. And I can give you my opinion on whether it is actually that your home was previously priced too high, or if it's other things, if I can give you recommendations on staging, um, you know, showings, things like that. But last but not least, it could also be your realtor um, and, and their marketing ability. At the end of the day, the more marketing um, you have and the better marketing you have, the more exposure that you're going to get, the more exposure you have is gonna equal more offers. So your realtor is actually an integral part of whether or not your property sells. You know, if they're just putting up say pictures off of their phone versus hiring a professional photographer if they don't have a virtual tour um, if they aren't utilizing social media like Facebook ads or Instagram all of these different things are, are very very important when you know more than 95% of buyers are starting their home search online you want to make sure that your realtor uh, is very very um, strong with an online marketing plan but also traditional things offline marketing plans are important as well um, and that's definitely something that we cover both of. And if anyone is wondering about our marketing plans at Bridgewell Real Estate Group, I'm more than happy to go through that with you and send you our pre-listing package so you can see all of the wonderful things that we do for our sellers and how we help them get top dollar. But at the end of the day, that's really what it comes down to. I find most commonly if your home isn't selling, if you haven't had any offers and you're wondering what's going on, typically it's one of those things. You're um, restricting showings. You... Um, your home doesn't show very well, you, um, your home requires a lot of work and you're competing against a lot of inventory that is renovated um, or more renovated than you are, that you are priced too high or that your uh, realtor's marketing strategies are not strong enough and that you're possibly working with the wrong realtor. So if you do have any questions about this, like I said, if you're looking for a second opinion, if you're looking for a free market evaluation, if you wanna learn more about our marketing strategies and how we can help you, we do deal with buyers um, and sellers all the time that, um, Unfortunately, I did not have the best experience with their realtor previously. And like I said, we deal with expired listings quite often where a realtor couldn't sell it previously and then we come in and we've been able to sell it. So my name is Mariko Berg, Bridgewell Real Estate Group. My office is based in Coquitlam and I'm more than happy to help you. We service all of the lower mainland. We are everywhere. Like I was just in Surrey. We had a listing over there. Just had a listing in Ladner. I have a listing in Coquitlam right now. I'm in Poco. Um, I have one coming up in New Westminster. So a lot of exciting stuff going on for us. Feel free to call me anytime. If your friends or family need help, if you need help, I'm always here. Have a great day, guys, and enjoy the weekend.